Koala Go has weekly live demos for beginning teachers. They have 24 seven tech support in and out of the classroom, helpful online communities on Facebook and an up-to-date library of invaluable videos to help new teachers. This video is simply a video diary of my exploration journey, learning how to use Koala Go in an effort to eventually help other new teachers. Okay, guys. Um, hi, if you are new here, my name is Jen from Reclaiming Jen and Reclaiming Teaching. And I am one of the newest Koala Go teachers. Uh, I just purchased Koala Go last week and I teach privately. I also teach on OutSchool, but I uh, ended up having to start paying for Zoom because of uh, difficulty my Chinese students were having. So uh, I was paying for Zoom. I was still having the same, you know, problems I was having with Zoom. And I thought, if I'm going to be paying for a platform, why am I not playing for something cool like Koala Go? So I made the plunge. I am... Uh, binging YouTube videos and such. So I just wanted to come on and make a little video in case anyone's in the same boat as me. I don't know if you're going to learn anything from this video, but uh, just going along with some of the uh, questions I'm having along the way. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So just come along with me. I'll try not to make it too boring. Um, so I usually would have a student here. Uh, look at all the um, the gems I have. I haven't used a one yet, but like, well, thank you for the gems. And thank you for uh, all the videos that I've watched so far a while ago. I'm so excited to uh, learn with you and to teach with this very cool platform. Um, it's been really great so far. I have been in contact with um, teacher Emily Radecki and Fred was helping me the other day when I was um, purchasing my annual subscription. So it was great. So yeah, there's the confetti and look, I give myself a star too for, you know, keeping at it because it isn't easy to start a new platform and, you know, all the learning and at the age of 46, um, you know, you kind of get stuck in your ways and that sort of thing. But here's some of the awesome features that, uh, look at that right there, a die right there. So, um, okay, so here's something that I ran into with, um, you know, trying to prep for my lessons tomorrow because I'm not sure now that I've stopped paying for Zoom if my Zoom link is going to work in China tomorrow morning. So, I got to get ready and just like, I'm going to say, hey, if you have any problems getting onto Zoom, this is what we're going to be using. I've kind of given them the heads up that it's happening, but it might be happening tomorrow, which is a little bit sooner than I wanted. Um, I was hoping to share screen. So like up here, you can share your screen. Um, but it was only, what was it coming up as? Oh, here it is here. So I wonder if I do that. I think I can't draw on it. Hopefully this is going to record. Everything. Yeah, so here's my thing is that my student can see this. I checked it and I tried it on my daughter's iPad, but we can't draw on this slide. Like, I, yeah, I don't know how, like maybe, no. So that was a problem for me. I thought, no, I need to be able to write on these slides, even though, you know, my student can see them on the other end. Uh, we need to be able to interact with them. So I thought, okay, that's not working for me. So instead of using that share screen thing for these lessons, uh, that's a real bummer actually, um, because a lot of my, my starlight is on my computer and that sort of thing. Um, and it's not in online. Uh, I also use Super English, and it is online, so there shouldn't be a problem there. And guess what? There's a spider on my ring light. Really, guys? <laughs> this might actually be good television right now. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> anyway, in Teacher Jen's class, we have fun, especially with the unexpected. Okay, so anyway, what I did was I went to activities, my activities, guys, I don't even know what you're going to see in here, but uh, I've been just playing around with some of the stuff. I got some free things from the marketplace, and I uploaded my PDFs here, and then you would get... Um, the question, do you want images to upload them as images or slides? And so I tried both and it's great that the images, you can resize them easily, but you have to resize each one of them and they all go onto one page. So that wasn't ideal, right? We want to be able to slide through them. If there's a way to fix that, guys, let me know. Of course, that I am just learning along the way. So I did upload them as slides. And so then I can go up here and just flip through them. But I did have to resize each of them with this button here, fit view. And that was kind of a pain that I had to like click on each one of the slides to get it bigger. You know, you want to optimize the space and uh, your, when you want your, your child, your student to write on the, uh, the slide, you want to have it as big as possible. So I'm still researching if there's a better way to go about doing that, but at least I have that. And then like, will I upload each of the lessons into Koala Go? Is there a limit, a space limit uh, for how much you can have? I don't know. Um, it would be a lot easier if I could share my PDF from share screen and also be able to write on it. Um, that would be awesome. So that is where I'm at with that, because imagine how many lessons with how many different students that you have to upload to the, um, to an activity. And then once you've done it, it'll be okay for the next student, but is there a search feature? Like how easily will I be able to find those slides um, when it's time to use them for another student? So gosh, I hope that spider's not like crawling up my leg or something. <laughs> It was a small spider, one of those jumpy ones. All right, so there's my question about that. Uh, I can also share the screen, like, let's go over to this. And, you know, hello, who doesn't love WordWall? Oh, I want to stop sharing. See, I'm sharing my screen, but again, I don't have the interaction in it on here. I have to go over to here, here. Okay, but I can't see my student right now. So can you see the wheel? So sharing screen isn't working for me in this one. Okay, so let me stop that. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so I've been over here just chit chatting and of course my recording stopped. I did read the special notes about the recordings. Um, so uh, it's recording, but when I switch to stop sharing, does it stop recording? Because I'm going to need my whole lesson. Some of my parents want my whole lesson to be shared. All right. Thanks for coming along with me. But uh, let's see. Oh, wrong one. So we still have that here. I can still make it full screen and it will keep recording. The cup has a lid. Hooray. Okay, but let's go ahead. I can, so I can still continue here with my slides. I have to get used to not using the arrows for that like I do in Zoom. So you have to advance the slide with these arrows and not the arrows on your keyboard. Um, so yeah, this is in my activities. Now, can my recording see this? Can my students see this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got like this slide because I had Emily's in here before, but I thought, well, it should say my class. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at there. What is this? Starting a timer. I don't need a timer. Um, like I would like, oh, there, my confetti disappeared, but now it's back. All right, and the dice got put away, but there it is. It's a great sound. It's a great sound. Six. All right, uh, chat feature. This is going to be 
um, really cool here. Turn on translations for my Chinese students. I can't wait to use that maybe as soon as tomorrow. Um, all right, take three or four. <laughs> Just learning how this recording thing works. So right now I'm recording full screen. I didn't choose a tab. So I wonder if I switch the tab or use the co-browser or use the share screen button if the recording will continue. I don't know. But anyway, here we are and here you are along for the ride of me learning how to use Koala Go. <laughs> Earlier I thought, uh, I'm pretty sure I need to take Emily up on her offer of a, uh, you know, a lesson with her inside her classroom so she can teach me all the things she can in our limited time together. But, um, you know, it is good to invest in learning instead of trying to figure it out on your own. I learned that a long time ago with Nancy Taylor's course on YouTube. So here we go. All right. Well, let's play around with this. Koala Go. Let's hide that. And um, what do we want to do here? I can still do a little sticky note if I wanted. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I did that. Hmm. So... I put a thing when somebody clicks on there that it talks to them. That'll scare somebody really good. Okay, let's add some text to this little box. Um, July 3rd. Oh, it's not even on the sticky. It's... There we go. No idea what to do with that, but there it is. I'm still recording. That's excellent. Let's try the co-browser. Okay, I still see recording. The hat is red. But what happens when I go full screen? Oh, I was on full screen. Okay, full screen, find the red hat. Yes, still recording. Okay, one more. The tot is sad, oh dear. Okay, perfect. So, so far that's working. That's in the co-browser. What if I go to Blue Kit and I want to play a game with my students? Still recording. I'm still hosting. I can move this over a little bit to make it look a little better. Uh, this looks good. Nobody wants to play Gold Quest. And you can play Fishing Frenzy. All right. We're still recording. This is excellent. We can host. I don't need to go through all this. And I can also click on over here and do some worksheets. I can them smaller. I can zoom in so the kids don't get upset because there's so many to do. So that is wonderful. That co-browser is going to be my best friend once I figure all the things out. Okay. Um, however, what happens if I click? I don't want to click on right here. I'm scared. I'm outside of the co-browser. And what if like, oh, all of a sudden I need to look up. Um, I don't know why Minecraft mobs. Then I could do that. I could get a, an image of a whole bunch of mobs. Like, okay, I can at least search for something and my student is still here. Great. All right, out of, now I just X'd out of the co-browser. It's fine, right? I wanna try sharing screen again. Let's go back to this rhyming wall. Please keep recording. All right, no idea. I can't see myself anymore. Let's spin it. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Big money, big money. <laughs> seal, matching word. Peel, but it doesn't have the same ending, but it's still steal. All right, so X out of there. Um, stop sharing. Go back to here. Are we still, we're still recording. I wonder what happened. I wonder if you could see that craziness. Okay. So over here, my activities are there. That's what this is. It's one of my activities. Now let's pop over to the playground. But before the playground, wait, because I want to do my starlight lesson here. And you can still see it, right? And I can go through all the slides and my student and I can write on it. 
It's as big as it can get. I can't figure out how to make it any larger or smaller um, or to zoom in. But here's how I can upload some more files if I wanted to. Invite a student. Okay. Squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> Why isn't that a koala down there? A squirrel plays in the playground. All right, here comes the teacher. Oh, there I am. I was wondering why I can't see me all of a sudden. Guys, let's all have a big laugh about how I move around this place. Like, I, oh, <laughs> so bad at this. Do, 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 do. I would like to know in the comments below how long it took you to learn how to do this. I am so bad at it. I am not spatial at all. Um, so I do look forward to be able to do this because, and then, <laughs> oh, welcome. And I do know how to use the focus tool already. Yes. And then I can zoom out just a little bit. Hey, let's write a word that starts with W. Oh, we can't really see that. Let's choose a different color. Yellow. We. Oui. How about an E word? How about I? That's a tricky one. How about one that ends in L? How about seal? Okay, so this, I don't even know where I got this playground. Uh, no idea. Um, but yeah, that's cool. And let's back out of here. And um, I don't know, go for a walk, I guess. Uh, maybe I can go outside and I can try to build something. So this is, I mean, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Let's just build something right here. Oh, yay. So, yeah. So all of these blocks are free. Am I getting that right? Oh, and I, okay, I I'm, just need to click so it doesn't like... I don't have to go click the same one, but I would like some sand. Oh, I see the spider, guys. It's uh, on my table. Oh, the sand is smaller. Okay, but here's my question. So like, pink tiles, all these are free, you guys? Alien grass, what? That's pretty cool. But like, what happens when I leave? Okay guys, this is a great class, really fun. Um, does this all stay where it is? Should I like return it to what it is? Should I delete it? I don't know. And how, do kids get discouraged because they don't have, what's this? A sticky note, no thanks. Image library, oh. Oh, I have to make my own library, not like Canva that has like, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, not there yet, not there. And home decor. These ones cost money, right? Or gems, which is money. Yeah. Wow, okay. My daughter's so good at this stuff. All right, guys, so that's my little thing. 24 seven, they're gonna know my name, Teacher Jen. <laughs> from Canada. All right. Um, yeah, so lots of questions, still lots to figure out. Um, and just, yeah, where's that marketplace? I'm going to need to get in there. Leaving there, how to get to the marketplace. No idea. Maybe it's not in while I'm teaching, but it's got to be. Right? My activities. Yeah. Marketplace. There it is. Going to buy some things. <laughs> Going to watch more videos. All right. Uh, oh, I can't see you. I can't see me. I can't see anyone. That's my quick little video, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Koala Go is going to be so proud. Hey, look, my name is teacher. How do I fix that? One more question. How do I get my name on there? All the things to figure out diving in head first, feet first, whichever, head first <laughs> into Koala Go. That's my video for today, guys. Send help.
hope. Bye for now.